with the last Medal of Honor, you know, we were very proud of what we did, especially, uh, you know, coming out of World War II, rebooting the franchise, and, you know, going back to our core tenets and, and what the franchise was built on, telling the soldier's story from the soldier's point of view. And it worked real well for us uh, in that regard. And so, you know, we've doubled down. This story in this game is actually written by the Tier 1 operators while they were deployed overseas. And, uh, you know, we had about a dozen uh, you know, on the last game, sort of helping us craft uh, that narrative. This game, you know, we've got twice that many now, uh, guys from the special operations community that have come in and, and really helped us craft uh, our game and our story. And, you know, everything from, you know, the dialogue to the chatter to the environments to the character, uh, the best traits of, of all the guys, you know, just all infused into this product. This Medal of Honor is unique in that it's the first Medal of Honor that is not set in a single historic event. You know, every, every Medal of Honor up to this point, you know, Normandy, Market Garden, uh, Pearl Harbor, even Operation Anaconda was, was, you know, the last game was loosely based on. This game is based on a single threat. Uh, multiple events, but a single threat that drives the, the, the story the way through. And, and uh, you know, from from rescuing hostages in the Philippines to eliminating the pirate threat on the Somali coast, every mission in this game has a, a dotted line to a, to a real-world event. You know, we don't focus on realism, we focus on authenticity and really just making sure that the game remains plausible and, and, and the tone that we set, you know, fits within the Medal of Honor brand. And, and again, just, you know, putting you alongside these guys and, and sort of getting an idea and an understanding of, of, of what they're going through. But as far as the gameplay goes, you know, it's, it's still a, a, you know, a fast paced, in your face, up close and personal first person shooter. There's nothing real about a video game, uh, you know, and combat and simulating actual combat. Um, but what we try to do again is, is remain authentic and plausible and, and honor what these guys are, are going through. But again, like I said, you know, getting shot and, and ducking behind cover and, and healing up a few seconds later than going back at it, you know, there's nothing real about that. And so what we try to do is just, you know, evoke those those feelings and that that that. Uh, that, that stress of combat, and but also just you know making it making it uh, enjoyable in a sense that, uh, like I said, you may learn something. You know, we, we heard a lot from our fans in the old days about how, you know, they learned something from a Medal of Honor game. Maybe they didn't listen in school about World War II or certain battles, but they learned something. So in this game, you know, when you're going to these these locations uh, and you're fighting. Abu Sayyaf in the Philippines or Al Shabaab on the Somali coast. You know, you may take some time and go Google it, and and, and you may remember hearing things on CNN or, or or some broadcast that says, "I remember that." And again, you know, putting that sort of uh, thought in the minds that I wonder, I wonder if this is how it how it went down. Uh, you know, because you know, the, the line, is, you know, between reality and fiction, especially in the case of this game, uh, you know, it's, it's sometimes, you know. Hard, hard to tell which, which side of the line you're on. What we're talking about in multiplayer is the international tier one. Uh, you know, all these traits that make up a tier one operator, these are not uniquely American traits. There's tier one operators all over the world. And so we're introducing 12 tier one units from 10 different nations, you know, including the British SAS, the SASR, uh, the German KSK, the Polish Grom. You know, we're doing that because, you know, kids in Poland don't grow up dreaming of becoming U.S. Navy SEALs, quite frankly, right? So they imagine being a Grom operator. And so, you know, we're, like I said, we're taking a page out of the FIFA playbook and, and allowing gamers to have that sense of national pride in a first-person shooter, right? Fly the, the home flag, play for the home team, and, and get out online and, and battle with the best of the best. And so um, I think that uh, with... with um, with multiplayer, especially our blue on blue playlist, where you know this is good guys versus good guys. It's just a single mode. It's one of the many modes in the game, but but the blue on blue sport mode is is the one that people are really uh, responding to. I love Call of Duty. Uh, I've been a consumer of that franchise for, for for many many years. I've got many many friends at both Infinity Ward and and Treyarch, and they they do a really good job at crafting their their experience. Um, but Again, with Medal of Honor, we just try to do something a little different, set a different tone. 
and tell our own story. So Medal of Honor Warfighter coming October 23rd, 2012 to PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Yeah.